Hey, it's the core gameplay. In this video, we are going to test Forester Armor against Basswood Armor and see which chest piece is the best. We're also going to test Brittlebone Armor just to see how it compares to the other two chest pieces. But before we dive into the video, be sure to subscribe for weekly content just like this and don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful. For this test, I asked Fusion Thunder to help me test everything. He also has a great channel that makes Last Oasis videos, so make sure to go check his channel out. Since we also did a test on his channel, I'll link his channel in the top right corner and in the description. To test each armor piece, I decided to use the two-handed sawtooth sword and the raw bone mole. I decided to use these two weapons because both of them has a base damage stat of 56 and both of them has opposite stats. For example, the sawtooth sword has 110 versus absorbing, whereas the raw bone mole has 160 versus reduction. If you don't know how armor works, then here is a basic explanation. A armor piece has two basic stats that reduce damage. It has a percentage reduction against damage and it has a flat number reduction against damage. For example, Forester Armor has a 39 damage percent reduction but only has a 4 flat damage reduction whereas Passfoot Armor only has a 25 damage percent reduction but it has a 13 flat damage reduction. These are the two numbers that most armors has. The Sawtooth Sword is supposed to be good against percent damage reduction and the Rawbone Mole is supposed to be good against flat number damage reduction. Now that I have explained the basics, let's get into the actual testing part of the video. For the first test, we are testing the Forester's Armor chest piece against the Sawtooth Sword and against the Rawbone Mole. I did two hits with each weapon just to confirm the damage each time. The Sawtooth Sword did 33 damage against the Forter's Armor chest piece and the Raw Bone Mole only did 29 damage against the Forter's Armor chest piece. The total damage done by both weapons are 62, so the Sawtooth Sword is better against the Forter's Armor chest piece. For the second test, we are testing the Baskwood Armor chest piece against the Sawtooth Sword and against the Rawbone Mole. I did two hits with each weapon just to confirm the damage each time.
the sword tooth sword did 30 damage against the boss with armor chest and the robot mole did 31 damage against the boss with armor chest. The total damage done by both weapons are 61 so the robot mole is better against the boss with armor chest but only by 1 damage. For the third and final test we are testing the brittle bone armor chest piece against the sword tooth sword and against the raw bone mole. I did two hits just with each weapon just to confirm the damage each time. The sword tooth sword did 32 damage against the brittle bone armor chest and the raw bone mole only did 26 damage against the brittle bone armor chest. The total damage done by both weapons are 58 so the sword tooth sword is better against the brittle bone armor chest. To summarize our findings it seems that the boss with armor chest is the best when you're going up against weapons that does a lot of absorbing damage for example swords and that the brittle bone armor chest is the best when you're going up against weapons that has a lot of reduction damage for example blunt weapons but i still believe that the brittle bone armor chest is the best all-round armor because if we take a look at the total damage received by each armor piece then you'll see that the forester's armor's total is 62 the boss works armor's total is 61 and the brittle bones armor's total is 58. Making the brittle bone armor piece the most versatile armor on the battlefield because it receives the least amount of damage out of the free armor pieces. But basswood armor is the second most versatile between these free armor pieces and a lot of nomads are running around with swords at the moment. So it's up to you to decide which armor is the best for you. Personally, I prefer brittle bone armor just because of the cost to make it and it being more versatile. If you want me to test more weapons and armor, then make sure to leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. I just want to say thank you to my brother Fusion Funder for helping with this test. Please go watch his test video on health versus damage that we did on his channel. I'm going to link it in the top right corner and the description. If you like this test video then give it a like and if you want to see more videos from me then don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.